Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dev Diary, where today we continue working on our game about preferential difficulty. The last time we continued adding new attacks to the newly added main boss character of our little experiment. It was a nice mix of conventional and more uh, off the wall ideas, including a complicated butt stomp move. Generally speaking, they were additions to throw even more variables at the difficulty concept, one which we continue with today's session. The first new attack added was inspired by the Duke of Flies from Binding of Isaac. The boss moves in random directions around the arena for a certain duration of time, during which a new enemy object is created periodically. And this new object will contain data for any enemy allies spawned from here on out, including a fly-type spawn for the Duke phase. For now, these flies simply follow the player and, after a determined amount of time, explode, causing potential AoE damage via Collision Circle. The next attack is a variation of the laser attack added in a previous episode. Only this time, four lasers are created in a cross pattern. These lasers then begin to rotate in a random direction, essentially forcing the player to rotate with it to avoid taking damage. It's a simple yet difficult attack to balance because of the speed factor. Since the player can increase their movement speed, the laser moving too slowly would be too easy of a cakewalk. Yet, having it move too fast is unfair for those who don't invest in speed. There's actually a lot of nuance I didn't anticipate in regards to the player movement when testing this attack, and it's something I'll have to consider moving forward. But for now, it was serviceable, and so it was on to attack number 3. This attack spawns yet another new enemy ally, which is a straight-up clone of the player. Indeed, a dark player is the main theme of this one, and because we haven't finalized the player's features yet, uh, the clone is pretty bare-bones. Bones. For now, all the clone does is move and shoot. The boss also disappears for this phase, however, damaging the clone will damage the boss. This seemed like the better route instead of you know, forcing the player to beat a challenging unit with its own health pool before being able to continue damaging the boss. And so the new final attack added this session was the spike wall. And this one is simple, a wall of spikes are spawned either vertically or horizontally. Using some temporary DS lists, a hole is then punched into a random spot along the wall. This allows the player somewhere to avoid taking damage. Once the wall has reached the other side of the arena, it is destroyed and the process continues. Again, the concept of player speed made this one uh, difficult to time. Actually, having the player to avoid a danger through a movement proved to be the largest unexpected hurdle this session, which was the reason I was only able to add 4 new attacks. It took a ton of time and effort and constant tweaking of the numbers to find something that felt fair, but still challenging at the base level. Generally speaking, three of the four attacks this session are quite unstable in terms of balance right now. The laser cross and spike walls are very tight on the timing, and the spawning of a clone is going to make things more interesting down the line. While I'm definitely up for the challenge, it feels like a change in focus may be necessary. Less weird and specific attacks, and more focus on things that'll work well with the whole preferential difficulty concept. And right now, the plan going forward may be to add difficulty tiers to the attacks. So instead of stressing about mechanical precision, instead we can focus on, like, creating chaos. And of course, then hopefully somehow synergize these attacks with the rest of the concept. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how things go in the future. But for now, this brings us to the end of today's Dev Diary. So if you enjoyed today's entry, consider leaving a like. Be sure to also subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. And let me know what you think of these new additions. What do you think of the difficulty tiers idea? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.